Hi, welcome to Richard's Reviews. Today's review is Red 2. Um, kind of stands for Retired Extremely Dangerous. Uh, I, I'm not sure if they actually ever say that, but uh, <laughs> the um, this is the sequel to the Red, just Red, where Bruce Willis is a retired agent, and uh, in this one he kind of comes out of retirement again because of a situation that occurs. Um, they're notified that they need that there, there's this weapon that, that might possibly be set off and then he needs to track it back to one of his original um, I don't call it uh, projects um, but it does include a, a, an interesting cast uh, some of the characters return and then you get some new ones as well so the good a sequel is made it was um I'm I'm glad that they made a sequel. I re I really liked the first one. The fun first one was very fun, adventure, action. Um offered a lot. This this offered some things as well, but wasn't as well um well set up. It was just kind of like everybody definitely played a part, but it was like you I don't know, it just wasn't as good. The bad it was wasn't as good as the first. <laughs> uh the ugly they're probably not going to make a third one. I mean, I don't know if this movie did well enough in the second one, as a second one, but they're probably not going to make a third one. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. But I like I like it that they would kind of close off or finish something, finish it in some way. Um, the plot, as I mentioned, is uh, Bruce Willis going back to one of his um, old cases, um, like where he would protect a scientist. The scientist ended up being um, uh, Anthony Hopkins. And um, he goes to different areas, and one of them is, uh, is I think, Russia, where he meets Catherine Zeta-Jones. And so he ends up with the kind of the old team together, with John Malkovich, uh, his girlfriend, and, um, you know, kind of their weird help from um, uh, Helen Mirren. Uh, they, they also add um, Byung-Hun Lee as another hitman, and he's... You know, they do a ac couple action sequences. With him. You know, it's fun to watch. Uh, they just kind of throw him in there as a kind of a competition. And it it's kind of fun. It's, that, that's actually kind of a fun part. So um, so that's the plot. They, they end up trying to stop this this bomb from occurring, this, this, this weapon being moved around. It ends up that um, Anthony Hopkins plays kind of this, the scientist, and he seems to be crazy, but he plays crazy now. Crazy is in, like, yeah, current. So then... They get him out, and ends up he's the one that set it up to, to get the bomb. So he ends up with the bomb, and they, he wants to uh, kind of destroy things and get it started over, kind of reset. Um, so <coughs> that's the, the basic plot. And uh, what you get here is the Blu-ray DVD digital. On the front, you see the people involved in the movie. Um, it's a pretty good, you know, it's a interestingly sized cast. Um, Inside there would be the discs. I think they're just in red. I don't. Unfortunately, I kind of put them away already, so you can't really see them. On the back, they def they do show Bruce Willis on the front, a couple shots of the other characters, and a small description. Um, they talk to him as they say he's a CIA agent, as you can see there. So, uh, let's see. That's what you get. And the score for this movie, I would say, is um, three out of five. Uh, it was a good movie, actually. Still, it wasn't as good as the first one, even though it says it is. But um, it was a good movie. There's some good action sequences. The pace is pretty good. Um, I mean, I did enjoy the action scenes more. You kind of expect, you see the something, you kind of expect it. It's pretty predictable. Uh, but they do have some good scenes that they showed, and there was like some good um, action sequences. I mean, maybe they're, um, I don't know. You just kind of have to check it out. I would say check it out if you like action movies. This is definitely a good action comedy almost. Almost a comedy. Um, there's definitely some funny scenes to it. Like the way they take uh, torture into a sense. Because uh, they capture some characters and they try to find, get information from them. They different, uh, take a t different take to it. It's pretty predictable. But it, you know, it's, interesting. it's funny to see it on screen. Um, thanks for checking out the review. Um, if you like the review, drop a like. Uh, leave a comment check out the other videos um, uh, uploaded or just or check out the links below for Yelp 2 reviewing Yelp and um, unboxing
Thank you.